Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a look at Cat Quest 2. Uh, I have played the original Cat Quest, I really like it. Uh, it's a sort of uh, top-down action RPG kind of thing, with a lot of cat puns. You're playing as a cat, all the characters are cats, everything that has a name is a cat pun of some kind. I love it. I haven't played Cat Quest 2, I know basically nothing about the sequel, apart from the fact that, you know, it's a sequel to Cat Quest, which I love. So, let's find out if it's good. <laughs> uh, I have the original game on Switch as well, I, I don't think I've done a video about it, but yeah, I have it and it's really good. So, yeah, let's check out the sequel. Got some little pawbs in the corner. They're uh, blue and red, which... Seems to mean something, I assume. Those are the default colours for the Joy-Cons, so it might be that. Uh, it's by the Gentle Bros Game Studio, that's the same people who made the other one. <gasps> there was once a powerful weapon known as the King's Blade. For many years, kingdoms of cats and dogs warred over it. But suddenly, the blade shattered and the world was never the same again. Cat Quest 2, this tune's the same as in the first game. I'm seeing some characters I recognize. That yellow cat at the front was in the first game. And that winking cat on the left side there was also in the first game. Let's start it. <laughs> okay, did, the first game did not have a co op mode, so that's new. Uh, there's no one here to play with me, so I'll be going solo, but that's cool. Let's look at the options. Uh, we can turn vibration off. Uh, we can change the volume, change the volume, we change the language. Uh, there's a decent number of languages in here, that's that's cool. I only speak English, so we're going to put it on that one. But I'm glad there are more options, that's cool. I'm guessing, yeah, that's how that works. Uh, you can play with a single Joy-Con if you want, but I'm, I'm going to use a normal pair of Joy-Cons. I might turn this down a bit, hang on. That's right, the TV was turned up because I was actually watching normal stuff with it. There we go, that's better. Okay, now I can hear what myself talking in. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, let's get going. Um, new game. Okay, so we've got three save slots here, and they both have the cat and also, I guess, the dog? There were no dogs in the original Cat Quest, as far as I know. Um, the cats were mostly fighting dragons. Long ago, there was a great evil. Two kings fought against it, but fell to its corruption. However, prophecy foretold their return. For only their light can shine through the darkness. Okay, the animation is really familiar. My kings, you're really back. The prophecy came true. It's me, Kiri, your royal advisor. The world is in peril. You must follow me. Okay, um, the first game never gendered the main character, so I'm not a huge fan of it saying that you're a king straight away. Um, like, you looked basically like this. A couple of differences, but it never actually specified the cat's gender, and this one seems to, which is not ideal. Uh, by the way, you can move with just the D-pad, like, you can use the analog, but it's, like, eight directional and digital, like, you can't move slower, so there's not much point in using the d-pad. Not using the d-pad. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we have to get through this cave. Oh, we can't do a whole lot just yet. We don't have any weapons or anything. Brave cave. Level 1 cat rags. Equip in bag. Okay, so the equipment system works more or less the same, I'm guessing. Except that there's two characters. Can you wear that? Yes, the dog can wear the cat rags. <laughs> uh, I'll put them on the cat, though, because they're called cat rags. So yeah, this is a little more elaborate than it was in the original, because uh, there's two characters. But the basic pieces seem to be more or less the same. Okay, we can attack already. 
The visuals are a little improved, but more or less the same as the first game. Dog rags. Now I have rags for both of us. <laughs> uh, I'll equip those as well, I suppose. There we go. B to roll away from enemy attacks. Yeah, so it's a real-time combat system, because it's an action RPG. You can see when enemy attacks are coming, uh, because of the little effects they show. And you can use your roll to dodge out of the way before they actually hit you. And that's pretty much the basis of the combat. It's fairly simple. Uh, there's a few more moves and stuff you learn, but that's pretty much it. By the might of the first kings, awaken this power in you. You learned Flame Purr and Freeze Purr. Okay, so these those two moves were in the first game. Uh, hang on, if we do I have to equip them. Okay, they're already equipped. So I press L. So yeah, the way magic works, you equip it to the shoulder button. There are four shoulder buttons, so you can equip four of the spells at a time. It's pretty easy. Uh, but to refill your mana and use more magic, you have to do sword attacks. So it's like a balancing act between hitting stuff with your sword, which involves getting close and potentially getting hurt, and using powerful magical attacks from a distance. That's pretty good. I like it. Uh, what was that about? The music, by the way, is roughly the same as in the first game. This tune is very familiar to me. Oh, that was a tutorial to show me how to defeat those things. I see. Clever. X to swap characters during solo play. So I can play as the dog if I want. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure there's much point in doing so, because they have roughly the same abilities, but... Yeah. I mean, they do have different spells, I guess. So if I wanted the other spells, I'd have to switch characters. But they tend to do it on their own anyway. Hmm. I'm not sure having an autonomous character follow you around like this makes a lot of sense in the way this game normally works, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, I got some chests here. It's got some money in them. Uh, money was in the first game, that's not new. All the stuff we're seeing so far is pretty much in the first game, except for the second character. Boop, because that's new. Rest at save stones to recover. Okay, so you rested at towns in the original game, but in this one, you use what's called the, you use these save stones instead, apparently. Roughly the same idea, though. You're not gonna like this, but evil kings have usurped your, front, your thrones. Lioneer the Persecutor, and Wolfen the Labrathor. That's where only you can help us, my kings. King's Marker. The King's Marker allows fast travel across your kingdoms. Okay. So we can go into this one. Oh, here we go. This looks kind of like the first game. We're in Feelingard now. Lion Ear rules here, though. Yeah, this layout looks very similar to the first game. A blacksmith called Kit Kat promised to help us. Meet me there. Kit Kat was in the first game, you got you know, new weapons and stuff from her, she's super cute. Oh, welcome home, your meow -jesty. You get the idea of all the puns and stuff. Also, yeah, we completed a quest, so we get some bonuses. We get to level up and stuff. You do level up, it is, it is like a traditional RPG in that sense. Uh, hello. Yark! Lion here is a horrible king. All he cares about is his war with the Lupus Empire. Okay, so this town actually has a save stone in front of it as well. Interesting. Yeah, in the original game you went to like inns at the towns, but apparently they've changed that up. I guess they wanted to be able to do stuff outside of towns more often. Meaning you needed some other way to save. Arcane Headporters. <laughs> Can I get in? Nope, it's locked. Hello. Have you heard of the bookkeepers? They can help you abandon quests. But I've never taken a quest, so I haven't seen one. I 
I've heard that there's a magic tablet in a cave nearby. I don't dare go in though. Well, I dare. Level 7, hmm. You can go into any cave regardless of the level it says you should be, but it's a bit of a risk. Hmm. I don't think I can equip different magic to different shoulder buttons like I had in the first game. It didn't seem to have that option in the menu, so I'm a little confused. Ow. I'm gonna be careful, I don't have healing magic yet. I don't even know if there is healing magic in this game, but there probably is. I'm guessing you get the same spells you did in the first game. Level 3. Your meow just eat. Something's happened to Kit. Blacksmith Kit difficulty. Two skulls. Okay, take a look at this note on Kit's door. Gone for a little bit. We'll be back soon, y'all. This was two days ago. I'm worried she's in some sort of trouble. Well, let's go look for her. You sniffed out her scent? Good doggy. Uh, I meant, good job, your roughingness. Roughingness. Cute. Uh, so is this the bookkeeper? Yeah, I am the keeper of all stories in time. Do you wish to reverse time on this quest to when she first took it? No. You could just abandon quests from the menu in the first game, I think. Like, you didn't have to find the bookkeepers. That's a little bit weird, but it's alright. Ah! What mysterious voice. Oh, it's, it's Kit. Okay. Help me, y'all! She needs rescuing. Let's go. Level four. Eh, we're not quite strong enough, but we should be fine. Oh, she's right there. Problem solved. Hold up a tinge. You're the ones Kiri told me about, ain't ya? Oh, pardon my rudeness, you meow but I'm at my wit's end. I'm too lazy to get him or is there. Will you help me, please? Um, alright. I mean, we gotta go over these spikes to do it, but I guess we can do that. I'm taking a lot of hits here. You got a moors! <laughs> There's more over there. There's more over there, you meow justies! I don't forget if Kit had that southern accent in the first game. I think she didn't, but I might be misremembering. Let's get what's in here. These chests usually have armor and stuff in them. Yeah, Cat Venture Vest. Um, let me see. Okay, so the one I'm using right now increases my health. But that one increases my attack by more. It looks more worthwhile. So I'm going to equip that. There we go. And you can see it changes your outfit on the overworld too, which is cute. I think it might be semi-randomized what treasure you get out of those. A little bit loot boxy, but not a huge deal really. It doesn't affect the game too much. Your actual level impacts stuff way more than your equipment in this game. So it's just about grinding and stuff. Also, you know, your actual tactics, because it's an action RPG. Which is fine. Again, I'm talking mostly about the first game here, because this one I've only just started. So I'm sort of making assumptions based on how the first game worked. But from what I've seen so far, the mechanics are very similar. Night armor. You got more of them, Oz. You give the oars to Kit. I'm impressed. See you back at my shop, y'all. Uh, 
How does he pronounce that? <laughs> what a cutie. Meow. Wait, the tax is how much again? I'm sorry, ma'am. All cats who don't follow the new laws will face persecution. Ugh, fine. Take it. So Kit here is going to be our own personal... Oops, that's Kiri. So Kit here is going to be our own personal blacksmith. Oops. That's right, any armor needs upgrading, come to me. Hey y'all, wanna upgrade your armor? Okay, this system is much better. So you're spending... In the, in the first game, it was very sort of loot box oriented. Like, when you found the same stuff you already got that made it level up. And when you went to Kit Kats, you could basically buy from a bunch of chests she had to open a loot box. And it, it wasn't great. In this one, it looks like you can just spend money to increase the effects of different pieces of armor, which is much better. Um, let's boost this first. Yeah, that, that is better. Cool. Uh, let's boost this knight armor as well. And I'll give that to uh, our doggy friend. There we go. Thank you, Kit Kat. Okay, that's a mage. We're probably gonna learn some magic stuff next. Pour some news! The mages want to help fight Lioner too! Let's scurry to the arcane headquarters. I'm guessing for co-op, it's basically just you control both of them, both of the both the dog and the cat at the same time, which seems pretty simple, really. Let's hope the mages can teach us some powerful magic. Arcane kitties difficulty two skulls. In the first game, it actually told you the level you need to be to be like suitably powered up for the quests. I'm not sure I'm a fan of using these skulls instead. I told you already, it's the theory of infinite timelines. Yeah? A, a dog? We're being invaded! Relax, they're the ones I told you about. Oh my whiskers, quickly come inside then, your meow -justies. Do, 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 do. Go hit the save point. I think it auto saves after every quest anyway, but you know, whatever. And we'll have a cat nap. And a dog nap, I guess. <laughs> Walk up to the universal yarn ball to upgrade your magic. Is that what this thing is? D do you want to upgrade your magic? Okay, so this is exactly how it worked in the first game. You spend a fairly large amount of money and it made your magic better. Uh, let's upgrade... I have money to upgrade one of these, so let's go with Flamepur. You also got new spells from these places in the first game. I'm not sure if that's how it works in this game. Beginner Magic 2. Mage staves generate magic mana faster. Use it to cast more magic. Yeah, a mage staff is one of the weapons you can equip to replace these, like, wooden swords or whatever. Uh, but it has worse, like, regular attack, because it's a trade-off sort of thing. <sighs> <sighs> Lioness soldiers are coming! Pearly, you must protect us, your majesty. Here, t take this, it should help. Lightning stuff. Mage weapons shoot from afar. Oh, that's new. I didn't have weapons like that before. That's pretty cool. Can I equip it? Oh, I, I got over here and equip it. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, I see. It reduces your health down when you equip it. That's an interesting design decision. It gives you ranged attacks, of course, which you're good. By order of King Lionel, all mages must be persecuted and tied to a cucumber. Step aside, you two. A cucumber? Alright, because cats freak out when they see a cucumber, yeah. I see, then you leave us no choice. Unleash Mr. Rocky. But sir, Mr. Rocky is extremely weak to ran magic, right? Shush, don't let him hear that. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> but you can see I'm doing a lot more damage with magic attacks. Heck yeah. Mr. Rocky, no! safe now. Oh, th thank you, your meow justies. Meow K, ready for Lion now. To the cat cat capital. Capital. It's level six. Pew pew pew. Time for snooze. I don't know if I should switch back to my not using the mage weapon because it drains my health, but um, I don't know. I don't actually have any other weapons yet. Hmm, let me think about it. I'll keep it equipped. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Uh, there were no, like, ranged weapons like this in the first game, as far as I know. Um, so this is a new feature, and it's pretty cool. To the catapult, there's another Mr. Rocky out here in the overworld, that's weird. What you doing here, Mr. Rocky? <laughs> Make our way over to Kiri. You ready to reclaim your throne, your Meow Justy? Ow. The Persecutor. Are the per reparations complete? Yes, Lord Lionel. K -k -k. They will not see it coming. K -k -k. Okay. That was Lionel. Quick, we need to follow him. Let's go. You know which way Lionel went, right? Uh, yeah, but I want to know what happens if I go the other way. Uh, I guess I'll go this way. Um, where are we? Hang on, there's a chest over here, can I open it? Golden key, okay. In the first game there was a side quest you had to do to get the golden key and then you could unlock every all the golden key chests around the world. Fools, you fell into my trap. Mwahaha. Let us take care of them, Lord Lionel. I don't know how to do that. I don't know. Goodness, these guys have a lot of health. 
I think I might be underleveled for this fight, but this game doesn't tell you the level you're supposed to be for the quest for some reason. The first one did, as I mentioned, and that was better. Okay. Hmm. Do I have to do everything myself? Yes. Resist? He resists my magic? Uh, do I need to switch something else? That he doesn't resist? Um, I'll try unequipping my magic. Use a normal sword. Nope, that doesn't hurt him either. Uh, hmm. I was worried when I saw your faces, but you're both just pathetic. Enjoy the rest of your lives stuck on this island. <laughs> okay, so you're not supposed to be able to beat him. That makes sense. Find a way back to the mainland. Uh, hang on, level 10, not yet. And that needs the golden key, but I can grab these experience points. Also, I can heal up here. There's one of these warp stones over here, so I'm not going to have too much trouble getting back. King's blood. Awake thy inner power. You learned heal poor. Oh, nice. Max mana also increased. Oh, um, okay. I, I, I thought that would take me back, but it, it didn't. I thought that was a warp stone, but it's something different. Okay, I'm not level 10 yet, but... I think we'll level MI6. Yeah, I'm not really equipped for this, but I guess I have to go through these ruins because I'm trapped here. Uh, what are these? Teleporters or something? Yes. I guess I'll just try them and see where I go. Oh, chest. I'd like that. The Knight Axe gives me two attack and a defense 10% bonus. Nice. Well, I may as well equip that, because Doggo over here doesn't have any kind of weapon. There we go. What's in this chest over here? Healing staff. Oh, that's cool. Sounds better than the staff I already had. Although... I'm not sure it actually is. Also, I don't think this dungeon has any enemies in it, so the fact that it's level 10... Oh no, here we go. I have to fight you, right? King's blood, you seek a way to reclaim your thrones. Prove yourself worthy, and our greatest weapon can be yours. So to fight that guy, right? Yes. Um, how do I... Pierce his defenses. I guess we did it. Seems to be taking more damage now. I'm not quite sure how we did it. He just takes a bunch of hits and it breaks open the defenses. Greatest weapon or protect spell or something, because I seem to be using it a lot, which would suggest that that's what I'm gonna get when I debate you. That's not really a weapon though. Anyway, that was easy. <laughs> you received the king's sigil. Take this sigil and forge the weapon to defeat any foe. The king's blade. Oh yeah, the one from the intro. Yeah. Level 7. Oh, my whiskers. I was so worried. 
Did I hear you right? You could even put a scratch on Lionel? You show Kiri the King's Sigil. That's the mark of the first kings. So they told you we'd need the King's Blade, huh? I hoped you wouldn't have to resort to this, but... Yeah, okay, let's go ask Kid about it. I'm just taking out some of these to get a bit more experience. I don't give you much, but you know, it's worth doing. If I reforge in the King's Blade, Kit would know what to do. The King's Blade difficulty, too. Hmm. You said the King's Sigil to Kit. Th that sigil? It's impossible! Kit, you helped, refor you helped forge the King's Blade. Can you do it again? Shush it, Kiri. Now they know my age. Mwah. Ahem. Forget y'all heard anything and meet me outside. It wasn't really funny. I don't, I don't like jokes about age. And secret age and stuff. Hey, where you going? Kit, where you going? Come back here. really worth doing. Huh? Y'all hear that? Ah! It's like killer squirrels or foxes or something. I'm not quite sure what these are supposed to be. Maybe we got ambushed by them. Should we figure out how to use heal pour in this game? Wow, you saved me again. Y'all work well together, huh? Sure. Hang on, let me see how to use other other magic tricks. Uh, I guess I can equip one to each partner. Partner. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, okay. I just have to. I have to go to the character I want, which is the cat, and then I just select it, and then I just press R. There we go. Easy peasy. There we go. Oh, it's better now. It actually heals both of us. That's cool. Uh, in the first game, it was just like a one-time effect rather than an, an overtime thing like that. But now it makes like a healing field, which is cool. And it makes sense because the game's got this heavy co-op, but... Or just do it the first game didn't. Where you going? Cat face outlook. Do y'all know the real reason the King's Blade shattered? It's cause the first kings feared its power. So they left me a shard to ensure that no one could forge it again. Kit's trial. Defeat me, and I'll help you all reforge the King's Blade. Okay. This looks really scary. Can't venture a blade. Lightning stuff. This one I already had, but it's leveled up now. Uh, Cat Venture Blade. I'll equip that. These staves cut down your health to half, so they're a bit unappealing. Um, Cat Venture Vest and Cat Venture Blade. That's not like a good combo, so I'll keep it that way. 
Cool. Uh, I'm gonna help that thing. Experience. <laughs> Get ready, boys. It's, well, why are they gendered in this game? It's 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 a really big downgrade from the first game. Game that that, that didn't gender your character at all. My hammer packs quite a punch. And she has a healing field. Not allowed, only we can do that. You need a lot of mana to use healing. Like a full mana bar, basically. magic like healing field is distracting me so I can't quite tell when she's gonna attack. It's a bit frustrating. Is Kit dead? Did we just kill her? Oh no. Oh she's fine. Hey y'all pretty good. Kit gives you Leon Leonardo's key. This key will unlock the ruins where a shard is kept. Kiri will find y'all there, okay? You know, cats and dogs never seen eye to eye. But I feel you boys might change all that. Boys. Stop saying boys. And stop saying heart, because I can't I can't pronounce a heart emote. It doesn't make sense. Wow. Look at this thing's like happened. Book of the First Kings, excerpt one. In the age before kings and castles lived the old masters. They built a great civilization, but left us only ruination. Poetic. Um. Oh, okay, so that warp just ended the king's marker. Okay, I see. So we can walk back to where we were, or we can go back to the, like, tutorial area or whatever. Okay, okay, I see. So it'll give us that information and unlock different bits of the king's marker. Cool. There's the catapult. Here's a mailbox. What's in it? Hey y'all, need some help getting back my missing blueprint. Case of the missing blueprint. Difficulty three. All right. I knew I heard someone. Hey, your highnesses. Someone stole my blueprint from a potamite. Potamite armor. I need it back. The town cats around the city might have seen the thief. Ask him for me, will ya? <laughs> Soldier seems to be purring to himself. If purple numbers pop out, it means the monster is weak to that attack. White numbers means they're resistant to it. <laughs> I know where Lina keeps all our gold. Follow the river south until you see a cave on the riverside. You didn't hear this from me, Miyake. Hail, cat venturer and strange looking friend. Here's a tip for you. Some enemies have elemental weakness. Fire, ice, what have you. Wow, dog. Dog. Oh no, racism. <laughs> I 
Um, I didn't steal anything. I'm just a soldier. <laughs> the soldier throws catnip at you. Monsters love catnip, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I lied. I'm not a real soldier. Have fun with the monsters. Soldier imposter. <laughs> Stop chasing me, it's too late. My boss already has the blueprint. Go away. <laughs> then feel my furrysome power. <laughs> Stay away. I, I have nothing. For real. Friends. Well, he dropped something. Blueprint. Meow, 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 meow. Hide out soon. Meow, 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 meow. Over here, your harnesses. You give the note to Kit Kat. Hmm, I need to decipher this. Meanwhile, thank you for your hard work. Blue Mage Fest. I can only find information at the cap Catable Smithy. When you're ready, head there and call me out. <laughs> I feel like we'll need some more levels to continue with that one. Let's have a look. Hey y'all, found out what's wrong with the note. Holler if you're here. Mm, maybe. It doesn't tell you a level like the first game did, which is annoying. Let's see. Okay, so the ruins are over there. I need to cross this bridge. Or that bridge. Hmm. The trial is very tough. You need to be really strong for this. How strong? Remember, you can always abandon this quest and try again later, okay? How strong do I need to be? Level 15. Yeah, I'm not ready for that. I am the keeper of all stories in time. Do you reverse time on this quest to when she first took it? Whence means from where, so saying to whence, to whence is like to from where, which is weird. <laughs> yeah, you need to do some other stuff first to get some levels up, basically. Novum Ruin, Soul 15 also. Hail, old cat adventurers, come challenge me if you dare, not for the faint for I uh, I'm probably not well equipped for that yet either. really wish it would tell me a level so I had an idea of how strong I had to be to do these things, but it doesn't. There's another kit cat, they're all over the, the game worlds. So you can visit Kit wherever you want to, wherever you go, you don't have to be in a certain place. It's weird. I don't know how she gets around so fast. It's convenient though. Okay, I've got a level 7. Yeah, we can do this one. Let's go. Let's 
do 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 what's in here? Night armor? Okay, so the night armor we already got got leveled up when we did that. So that does still happen in this game. It wasn't, you know, a removed feature. Oh no. How do I get across there? I guess I have to go the other way. Blue mage hat. That'll go with the blue mage robe I already have. Beautiful. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> this? King's blood, awake thy inner power. You learned furry shield. Max mana also increased. Yeah, so furry shield would be that one that that guard was using earlier. Uh, that I thought I would get when we beat him, but we didn't, so now I have it. So that's cool. Um, we already went through there. I'm going to cut a ward out, I'll probably wrap this up soon. Overall, this is more or less the same game as the first one. There's a few new mechanics, but it's not like groundbreakingly different. Um, it's just more Cat Quest. Since I loved the first game so much, I'm completely happy to just have more Cat Quest, so... I am... really impressed with this game. Um, it's cool to have co-op too, that's a neat feature. A monstrous force keeps this chest shut, that's new. I don't know what that does. Um... But yeah, I love Cat Quest and this is essentially the same game, so... I'm glad to have more of it. <laughs> um, I think if they changed it up too much, I would not like it as much because the first game is something I really, really enjoy. So, on that front, it's kind of good that they didn't change it too much. But the stuff they added it seems pretty cool to me. Uh, although some of the things they removed did bug me. The fact that quests don't have a recommended level on them anymore, just a difficulty thing with skulls. It just doesn't seem very clear. Uh, whereas the recommended level is very obvious. Uh, also kind of weird to have both heroes around all the time instead of just when you're playing in co-op, but I guess it's got there are story reasons for that. And it's kind of nice to have some help around even if you're not playing in co-op. Oh, okay, so the chest unlocks when you kill all the monsters, that makes sense. Ice Mage hat, yeah. Neato burrito. Um. So yeah, um, yeah, that's Cat Quest Two, a game that's very similar to Cat Quest One, but just different enough to be interesting. I think I would say, um, and equally as fun, as far as I can tell. Again, I really, really enjoyed the original title, so getting more of it is. Good for me. Uh, also, those enemies are really high level, so I shouldn't try to fight them. I got a 90. I think that's their level. Level 90. That's scary. The original game did give you a number. With how much higher level it you, it just showed a little skull. Um, I don't know if that 90 is actually a level, like the amount of damage they'll do to me or something, but either way, it seems like they're a bit too strong. So yeah, not for now. Anyway, yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, this game is Cat Quest 2 and I like it. And apart from it not giving you recommended levels in places the first game did, I think it looks super great. And I'm super happy to have more of this wonderful, silly, punny experience. So 
Cool. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!